that's the channel. So today we have got a BMW 335D. And what I'm doing is something I've been putting off for months. I'm gonna change in this hose. So first, I need to get underneath it, which if we look, isn't as easy as what it sounds. But with the aid of a launcher jack, we now have the clearance what we require to get under there. And first I'll just try and show you where the pipe actually is. If we look down there, we can see that thing with springs around it, that is the pipe. So that's what we need to access, which is gonna be loads of fun. Because we have to get it underneath, which means putting all our faith in this brand new trolley jack, reaching underneath and undoing multiple eight milli bolts, which are positioned all over the place. Now I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna win to that. So I'm just gonna take them out and then I'm gonna come back. Yes, there's always one. And now that, should come off but isn't coming off because i missed one yes and now we're underneath so we can see the pipe that we're trying to take off and it is there and it is awkward because this is actually a forge pipe that i put on a while ago and because the intercooler bolts are a bit rusty i didn't want to take them out to drop the intercooler down and this pipe it's not very flexible so I end up having to cock about with it. Anyway, so I've got a new genuine one to put on. So let's try and do that. So first, I'm gonna try and release this end. Because as I said, I'm gonna try and do this without, well, without moving the intercooler. And this clip keeps on pushing itself back into place. So I'm just gonna pull the shit completely off. And as I mentioned, I previously bodged this. I end up having to cut it down and use Jubilee clips. And I forgot the way that I did it, but now I remember that I have to undo this first. Otherwise, there's no chance of getting it out. And I think what would make this so much easier is if I actually remove the fan. And that seems to be as far as it wants to come out without taking this off, which I don't want to take off. And some brute forces later, got the bottom bit out, which as you can see, that's out now. But this bit is now stuck on at the top. Which the clip's been removed, but it still doesn't want to come out. So I probably wouldn't advise fitting one of these forged pipes because unless you're running silly power and you need it to withhold loads of boost and it is stronger or whatever, not with the fucking hassle, they're proper rigid. And that took way more getting off than it should have done. But now we've got that off, we can have some more fun struggling to put this one on. And if we look here, these clips sort of slot into little lugs on each side. Probably need both hands to do it, but yes. Yes, but easier with both hands and a bit of silicon spray just to make it go on nice and easily and do that one as well. And now the fun can start all over again. I need to feed that up there without touching that spring because otherwise it just locks itself back in place. I need to feed that up onto, the, onto that turbo in some sort of orientation like that. And then because it is more flexible than the other one, it should actually go in without dropping the intercooler down and then this clip just by well just by touching it if it's in the right place it should well lock in then with a bit of persuasion this pushes down there is a little tab around here which you have to line up and then this should just push back on which might be easier said than done with one hand and I think that is that fitted. I mean, that is, doesn't feel all that convincing to be honest with you, but it is on a rubber o-ring, so it's gonna move about a little bit before it gets caught by that. The bottom does feel better, but 
Yeah, I'll turn that on. So now it's time to go from down here. Back up here for another struggle. So that bit lovingly back together. Make sure I plug the fan back in because last time I had it off I forgot and then the aircon wouldn't work. And also not forgetting to put that back on. And there is a little hose clip which is on the back of the radiator which holds one of these pipes which needs to be in place as well. So now I'm just gonna struggle and put that shitter back on off camera, which I've succeeded at doing very gracefully. So that should be it for this one. Now I've just got a well Wait for my dad to ring me and tell me that either the under tray's fallen off or the hose has popped off, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. Uh, probably not the best video I've ever released, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. Anyway, see you next time.